Hello for exercise number 7c we will concentrate on the question on how to um, create labels interactively and creating annotations as well so the difference between a label and an annotation maybe can be summarized to a label being um, yeah, somehow organized by ArcMap and an annotation will be organized by itself so first step we will open the project number 7c and we have all layers visible except the layers of cities we will do that as well and what we would like to do now is uh, as being maybe some kind of producer of a map for the Mexican state government or tourism bureau or something like that we will, you would like to create a label for the main cities of the peninsula of, of Yucatan which is on somewhere here so uh, there's a city called Merida and we would like to create not an annotation but a label so just click on label now you can choose every feature you would like so you can create a label for the for this polygon you can create a label for for the Gulf of Mexico polygon and so on but what we will do now we will create a layer for the city Merida there it is so uh, uh, we will stay with the uh, with the with the uh, default value of automatically find the best placement for that so um, there it is now and what we will do now is we will go back to select elements as a tool what you can do now you can adjust the position of that label if you have some kind of errors in visibility so like now I will stick that over or here near you can see that these, uh, this state has a name Yucatan there's uh, this rune and this rune in the in the near surrounding of Merida and um, what is the difference so you can you can put this annotation everywhere you like you can put it above uh, the Yucatan placement and ArcMap if I will now hit the refresh button will readjust the visibility of the label Yucatan so stay there there it is now the label is somewhere else you can just put it here once again, there it is. But Oxmal wasn't changed due to the fact that we don't have any possibilities. We have an ordering given to that uh, shapefile which says please put it in, in the center or in the l upper left or upper right. So if I will stick it here, maybe we have a chance that this label will be reorganized. And it was. So it was put on the uh, on the upper right corner to make it possible that the label Merida will be drawn on the map. So once again we will go there, say Merida will be on the lower uh, upper left corner of the city. So that's it. So in, in the normal process or workflow you will stick with the labels in first case but if you would like to finish your map afterwards you would like to or you, you should convert all your labels to so-called annotations therefore there's a special function here so just right click on the on the on your label uh, on your layer and there you find convert labels to annotations just click it you will store your annotation because you don't have a geodatabase for this project in the map and uh, we have two annotation groups here in the moment so these are southeastern states and runes anno and we would like to convert unplaced labels to unplaced annotations so just click on convert and what has changed now in the moment nothing has changed but let's have a look you can adjust the position of each label But what is also possible, you can just do some bad decisions with that. So, first case or first part, create labels. Second part, change it to annotations to make it 
to make it more customizable and to adjust the visibility of each label um, to the optimum. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the next session, which is a session about querying data or getting information about features. Uh, so we will go into the chapter 8. Thank you very much. Goodbye.